this morning my administration took a new action to hold China accountable for unfair trade practices that harm American automakers. So as long as we're competing on a fair playing field instead of an unfair playing field, we'll do, do just fine. That was President Obama Thursday talking about his administration's latest World Trade Organization complaint against China, this time, as the president said, on auto duties. Joining me now to discuss is Jim Baucus, a former WTO chief judge. He's now chair of the global practice at the law firm Greenberg Traurig. Jim, welcome. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure, Mary. Uh, Jim, there's a lot of tough talk out of the White House these days on China. Uh, is this a low-level trade war that we're seeing, or is this just the normal friction back and forth between two major trading partners, like we would have, for example, with the EU? Well, we're not in a trade war with China. We're in a trade relationship with China in which there is mutual dependency, despite all the campaign rhetoric here and despite their occasional rhetoric uh, over there. Um, but. Uh, uh, we'll wait and see what uh, my former colleagues uh, on the World Trade Court have to say about this particular case. The president's right that we need uh, a level playing field, but uh, in international law and as members of the WTO, a level playing field is defined by uh, whether uh, a trading country is complying with WTO rules. Now, this is not a dispute that's going to take a couple of weeks or even months to play out, Jim. This is a, a process that, as you say, it can take years to move through the WTO process. So when the president comes out and makes these statements about getting tough on China, is that really more heat than light? Is this something that's becoming uh, a routine process that just plays itself out over time? You're right that the uh, result in this particular uh, trade litigation will uh, be known long, long after this political campaign is over. But this is uh, part of what we're seeing in this election year, really from both candidates and both campaigns. There is always uh, a tendency uh, to flirt with protectionism, uh, especially in an election year. And there's always a tendency to uh, try to blame our shortcomings on someone somewhere else, especially uh, a foreign country and especially in an election year. And these difficult economic times, these bad job numbers we've just heard, uh, only intensify these tendencies. That's what we're seeing uh, in both campaigns. And we're seeing this especially because the swing states that will determine the outcome uh, of uh, this particular election are those that are particularly uh, seemingly affected uh, by the equation of our trade. Uh, in I'm glad you brought up the other side of politics, the GOP. I, I think we have a clip uh, from Mitt Romney talking about trade with China. Let's see if we can cue that up now. Well, number one and day one is acknowledging something which everyone knows. They're a currency manipulator. And on that basis, we also go before the WT WTO and bring an action against them as a currency manipulator. And that allows us to apply selectively tariffs where we believe they are stealing our intellectual property, hacking into our computers, or artificially lowering their prices and killing American jobs. Okay, well, I'd also note that the Federal Reserve also manipulates the currency by printing dollars here. Um, Jim, you know, is this rhetoric that we should be concerned about? Uh, you know, is this kind of inflammatory language, in your view, constructive to building uh, no, a good relationship? No, it's not at all. Uh, and uh, I don't think we're hearing much constructive uh, from uh, Governor Romney or from the Obama administration along the way on, on trade issues, uh, and especially on trade with China in this campaign. I, 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 I doubt that Governor Romney, if he becomes president, would bring that trade case, because uh, if he's smart, and I think he is, he would ask his uh, trade uh, representative and uh, the lawyers at USTR to analyze uh, the likelihood of outcome uh, in such a case, which would be, by the way, under Article 15, Paragraph 4 of the GATT, and it's by no means clear that the United States would prevail in such a case. Furthermore, I think it's misplaced to focus in a singular fashion on Chinese currency issues and alleged manipulation. Uh, the Chinese currency has been appreciating uh, in the past year or two, uh, uh, closer to where it should be. There are a whole array of other issues on which we should be focusing that would be a benefit to American businesses and workers uh, in, in terms of increasing our exports and making sure that there is a level playing field in China. Investment, government procurement, uh, intellectual property, uh, subsidies, and a whole lot more. 
the Obama administration is bringing a few cases that uh, need to be brought, I think. The uh, rare earths case in particular uh, is the one that needs to be brought. The Polker case is another. Uh, but China also has some uh, legitimate trade grievances with the United States, and uh, I, I think we'll see more cases from China. Uh, this is as it should be. The, the whole purpose of WTO dispute settlement is to resolve these uh, uh, disputes in a very tedious fashion uh, through the rule of law rather than having trade wars. Uh, but uh, that's separate and apart from any uh, heated rhetoric along the campaign trail. Well, I might also note that uh, there's no real movement on the Doha global uh, trade talks, they seem to have died. There's no serious bilateral free trade discussions going on. Uh, no mention of free trade in a positive way in the campaign. It's certainly disappointing. It certainly is from both parties. And the, the best thing we could do right now to give a shot in the arm to the global economy, including the American economy, would be a big tax cut uh, for the whole world in the form of tariff cuts uh, through uh, a global uh, trade round. But that doesn't seem to be uh, on anyone's agenda. Well, let's hope some of the folks from the various campaign staffs are watching us today. We're going to leave it at that. Jim Baucus, former chief judge of the WTO, joining us today from Washington. Jim, thanks so much for being with us. Anytime, Mary. My pleasure.